What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. Today we are checking out the brand new Armadillo drone. This thing's pretty interesting. I'll show you which chips I have installed and then we'll go do some gameplay and check it out and see it in action. As far as what type of robot you want to run a drone like this on, I would say you want to put this on your beacon runners. This will really, really help your beacon runners stay alive if they can grab a couple of beacons quickly. And I would say like your mid-range to long-range assassins or damage dealers something that's got a lot of damage but kind of squishy at the same time like your sirens or harpies might really enjoy something like this we're gonna go ahead and put on mild damage fix on repair unit defense a suppressor chip and a on mild damage absorber and the ability of this guy is really cool Every time you get a beacon or get a kill, you're going to get 15 defense points. So eventually, if you get enough beacons and enough kills, you are going to have a lot of defense points. Now, Skyros is a really squishy robot when he comes out of the ball. In the ball, he's got loads of defense points, but as soon as he comes out, he gets blown up really quick if you're not careful. So, you know what? When he's out of the ball, we're going to find out how hard he is to kill after getting this. This is one robot that should be able to at least get some beacons and some kills pretty easily, so I think he's going to be a really good candidate for a drone like this. Test number one, we're going to grab two beacons, we're going to come out of the ball, and then we're going to let some people shoot us and see if we're harder to kill and how much harder to kill. I'm going to go grab the easiest ones to get. So here comes 15 defense points. And then as soon as we get this one, we're off to the next ones. Here will be 30 defense points, so when we come out of the ball, we should have a nice amount of defense points already. We should be very hard to kill once we unball ourselves. All right, so there's 30. Too bad I can't grab that one over there. I would have 45 again. So we're going to go ahead and roll on over this way. Let's go after this behemoth. Let's see if we can beat him up. So right now, we got a decent amount of defense points. And we're just kind of testing it out. We're not going back into the ball. I mean, it's definitely a big improvement, guys. So that was a test just to see what happens when we only grab two beacons and only get 30 defense points. And honestly, it was a lot harder to kill. Normally, that bot, once it starts taking damage, goes down so fast, it's not even funny. I mean, we were getting hit by a beanith. A beanith. I... <laughs> <laughs> we were getting hit by a behemoth and I think a couple of other bots as well and it took a little while to kill him I mean it still went pretty down pretty fast but that was only with 30 defense points guys and that amount of defense points comes out to about 23% damage resistance they scale real funny but anyways let's go pull up play a full game we'll try and get a whole bunch of beacons rack up those defense points and see how it does in that situation we're gonna go ahead and drop in and we're gonna try and find the path that gets us to the most beacons the fastest so we're gonna go ahead and grab this beacon over here mr Rarochi. i'm gonna get the beacon with you buddy so let's grab this one and as soon as it turns we're gonna come over here so now we've got one beacon there's 15 defense points and now we're about to get 30 defense points. All right, now we got 30 defense points. So that's around like, uh, I think around like 19 to 20% damage resistance. Let's go ahead and roll on over to some other beacon and try and take that. I don't know if we can get it. No, we're not gonna get it, unfortunately. That guy's got those Sonics. They're hitting really hard. They're nasty old things. We don't like them too much, but hey, we're gonna do what we can do. In a second here, once I think he's out of ammo, which he is right now, I believe. Okay, back into the ball. So I think this is going to be a really good robot to do stuff like this. Let's see if we can steal this beacon up here. Yeah, we got another beacon. This is going to give us 45 defense points. So we're almost at... Uh, Man, we got, we got a lot of defense points racked up all of a sudden. Watch this. When he comes down... If he didn't have that last stand, we'd have whomped on him. Alright, so far, I mean, this is going pretty good. We got a lot of defense points racked up. Here comes another 15, guys. We're about to get another 15 in just a second. Alright, come on. Let's hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Nice, nice. So we're going to grab this beacon... So we're, we're like, what, 
60 60 defense points now i mean we should have a lot of damage resistance so we're actually going to come out of the ball now and try this out let's fight this revenant real good let's see what happens what i want to see is when i stop when i start actually taking damage how hard is my squishy robot for them to take down right now they're having a hard time getting rid of the shield and we're just beating this guy up all right there we go so we're gonna grab another beacon and get yet more even more defense points guys oh here comes behemoth this is gonna be interesting all right check this out this will be a really good test to see how this works oh my god wow all right we got lots of defense points right now guys Let's go and try and find someone who can actually give us a challenge. Okay, he's got his shield chip. If we grab this beacon, we're going to have so many defense points, it's unreal. Right now, we should be very, very hard for these guys to kill. We're not going to go back into the shield because we just want to see how it works. I mean, look at this. They're having a really hard time taking me out, guys. They are having a really hard time taking me out. They're hitting me. They're shooting me. And not much is happening. This is crazy. I mean, we're intentionally not going back into the bowl just to see what happens here. Let's go ahead and run on over this way. Let's, let's fight this Titan. This is actually pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy. We're going to go ahead and drop this mothership. Now there's a couple Titans. Only thing is Titans do have a uh, damage mitigation where they go through a lot of your resistance. But we're still going to try this out and see what happens. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't really seem to be taking all that much damage when I do get hit. Normally, this guy takes a lot. So I'm going to have to say this is actually going to be a really, really good drone. I mean, look at this. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. One thing you got to remember here is the Titan weapons go right through damage resistance. And the Theseus pilot does not save you from that unless you're in the ball. So when you come out of the ball... Theseus is not helping you, so those Titans will still smash you no matter how many defense points you have racked up. But when fighting regular robots, he was taking very, very little damage, which I found to be very impressive. I think this drone is going to work great on a lot of robots, especially your beacon runners, guys. This is going to be a great drone for your beacon runners. I think that's going to wrap this video up, so check out this message and we will catch you next time. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, click that little bell and set those notifications to all, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in this video's description to get some awesome Danny Lightning gear or join my Discord. And if you'd really like to help support the channel, click the join button or the thank you button that's down below this video. All monthly channel members get access to the VIP rooms on my Discord server. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who comes by and watches my videos. I really appreciate you guys a lot. You guys are amazing. Have an awesome day and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.